my God, I can't believe it. It's it's Monday again. And I still remain as Champlain. And I yet remain Lee Grainer. And I'm still Gary from Gary, Indiana, here <laughs> substituting for Sean Bouchard. <laughs> Welcome to Mostly Walking. Today we're going to be playing Colossal Cave, which is the 2023 Ooh. remake from Ken Roberta Williams. Uh, some, at least for me, personal design oh. heroes. Uh, the makers of the original King's Quest games and many of the other fill-in-the-blank Quest games. And also Phantasmagoria and so on. Uh, like pioneers of gaming in the early days, they formed a studio to remake Colossal Cave Adventure that was the first text-based adventure game. Made in 1977. Oh, shit. 1977, man. And in fact, I first became aware of this game, Colossal Cave Adventure, because it was called Adventure. And it was yeah. a game that my mom told me about as a kid. One of the things that got me into playing games. And it inspired... Adventure was yeah. Colossal Cave Adventure? I don't know. Yeah. That's that the origin of the adventure game. Shit. Straight up. It, it inspired games like Zork, an adventure land mystery house, and Rogue... Which is oh, a rogue. roguelike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so this text. The first roguelike. The first roguelike. <laughs> rogue. Um, so uh, the 1990, 1977 version was a text based adventure uh, where everything was just described and you kind of journeyed around and looked for lost treasure in a cave. And then this remake was Roberta Williams trying to recreate the feeling that she had playing that game that was text driven. Many, many more. Oh, that's good. That's always a good... That's uh, right. I, I like love that. that. That's very cool. I love that. Now, uh, given that... Um, and, of course, this came from uh, me not being able to decide whether we should play a new game or an old game. So, of course, we're going to play a new remake of the oldest game. Um, yeah. now, now, do either of you have an old game that you are really nostalgic for? Um, oh, sure. I mean, Cosmic Osmo. I've said it once. I'll say it again. Like, my company is literally called Hello Alien because of that game. <laughs> um and other themes but but then i saw someone else's article about does it hold up you know because a lot of us had had that feeling of yeah. oh this is a this is a, a universe that i could explore forever and not see all of it and yeah that turns out uh that feeling does not hold up compared <laughs> to yeah 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 no this this yeah uh sean go ahead I mean, some of that comes from childhood, I think, Lee. Uh, I've told the story about, like, playing adventure games and being so, like, bewildered about how the game knew how I figured out the solution to a puzzle. Like, later Whoa. in the game, it would reference, like, that thing that you did to solve a puzzle earlier. And I'm like, how did it know that that's what I did? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, pretty, 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 pretty wild. Uh, I mean, like, <laughs> Betrayal at Crondor will always be such a nostalgic, like, game experience for me. All the way down to the fact that, like, I, you know, I would take that CD-ROM that that game was on, and I would stick it into my audio CD player, and it would just yeah. play the, like, soundtrack to the game, because it was that just was, yes. on there as tracks. Oh my um, god, no, this is something that pretty wild. modern yeah, no, gamers really don't know. Good. All the old games that you just put into the CD player, and track one was the game, and then track yeah. two was the start of the soundtrack to the game. Yeah, yeah. That was such a <laughs> chill, awesome, like... there. Okay, that's kind of an amiibo thing, right? Where it's like, yeah. oh, an amiibo is this object that then if you if you pair it with this other thing, it does something new and different. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like all objects, maybe let's let's take a ride here. Maybe all objects that you can purchase or or own should be able to be used in any of your devices and have a special effect. Like if you just bring <laughs> home a hot dog, like your hot dog, you should be able to set it on top of your television and it should just like show <laughs> like a, a, maybe a, a like rotating a rotating 3D model. Yeah, yeah, rotating yeah. 3D model of a hot dog. Yeah, <laughs> like we yeah. know what we want. Give us if this. I get, if I if I buy like a little plastic Ninja Turtles action figure and I stick it in my toaster yeah. oven. Yeah. You should get pizza. I get content from that. <laughs> you should get pizza. Yes. I mean thank you. Why doesn't all of our objects have associative thinking built into them? 
Hold on, I have to look. What should your cat do? Uh, Sean, what should your cat do if you um, use it with, like, I don't know, something in your house? What's it? Ooh, ooh, like, I know. Uh, if I put it on top of my speaker, it makes a tornado siren, okay? Every morning <laughs> at 5 a.m., this cat is like, meow, meow. Like, I really think that it should embody that identity and everything that it is. Um, I, I I do like that we're going into the like we're still in the 90s multimedia CD-ROM thing of like oh yeah. you're gonna get like a 10 second long gif or like 10 second long very shittily compressed audio clip <laughs> yeah That's good. oh my god so good all right so we, we are about to get this game underway and I just need to note that uh one of one of the games that I was really nostalgic for as a as a wee kiddo was we got the Zork Anthology and of course, oh. Zork 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are all text-based games that went graphical in Return to Zork. It sure did. Which we played on uh, Mostly Fever God, Dream. That was I reference. I had a lecture. I, I'm teaching a brand new class. I had to like make all new lectures for it, and Return to Zork was uh, prominently featured in oh my lecture my this morning. Oh my God, yes. Yes. Wait, did you did you play Want Some Rye? Of course you do. <laughs> no, I just showed the uh, the Whispering Woods maze and had a big like this sucks on my uh, <laughs> on the slide. And then you had a photo of me in the corner <laughs> smiling happily. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. So what do we want to do? Recommended for the classic point and click lover and designed for ease of use with a single hand using only a mouse. Well, great, Despy. You got it. Listen, I'm not going to go anywhere near her. Uh, walk <laughs> forward using move action and move mouse to rotate camera. Okay, so. Oh, but it says mouse and keyboard lets you do WASD. Yeah, but. Which is probably here's good the thing. for us. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to see. I'm sure that I can change it over time. But like. Oh, my God. Okay, my cat's so pissed. We have to do this one. She's not going to let me go anywhere near the keyboard. Got it. Oh, my Cat, God. A yeah. lantern. <laughs> oh, I hope we need fuel for that, motherfucker. <clears throat> oh. I love that there's no options anymore. Wait, 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 wait. About online support. Okay, here, here's something that... um. I don't know what happens when I click this, so I'm not going to click this because if it opens up a web page, I don't want to just stream the web page on accident. Um, oh, yeah. But this game actually has a phone number you can call for hints. Does it? It has a phone number you can call for hints. I need to figure out how to just like call that on the show Holy next shit. week. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Who do you do think it? it? Who answers? I hope it's Ken and Roberta Williams. Man, we like. Fun. Yeah, so, I so hope so too. too. That would be really nice. Colossal cave. Colossal cave. Replicating. The, oh, uh, Ali, you have this, please. Go ahead. <laughs> Colossal Cave 2023 is replicating the historic test based games experience and wit. Before beginning, here's an important tip taking instructions will cost you five points, but will allow you to spend more exploration time because your lamp light will last more than twice as long. This is helpful when learning the game and forming your strategies. However, what? deciding that you are ready to play with intent of earning the coveted 350 point score, you cannot take instructions because the need of keeping those five points. One last warning, in choosing not to take instructions, thereby keeping those five points, you will also have much less lamplight. This strategy should be used oh by God. those well-practiced players who are ready to try for the minimum 300, maximum 350 <laughs> point score. We strongly recommend that maximum. new players always take instructions when starting a new game. Would okay. you like instructions? Okay, so I didn't realize it was one of these games, but I can explain. <laughs> so um, the, the mechanisms of what motivated players, well, let me be more clear. The understanding that players had of games and therefore the ways that designers would design with that in mind were completely different in like 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And notably, points that became super commonplace in the graphic adventure games we've played, like a lot of the LucasArts games, King's Quest series. The notion was that you would not play through a story-based game. There was no such thing as just playing a game for the experience, which is funny because that's like most of what people do now. Um, 
but like you had points inspired by arcade games where every single game was about points. Space Invaders and Centipede were about how high of a point you get on the leaderboard. So the idea of these early text-based adventure games and graphic adventure games is that you should play the game and there's solutions that are not as correct. And therefore you would get maybe four points if you broke into the dude's house. Whereas if you talked to the, you know, the mischievous fairy to steal the key that would let you get into the house, you'd get 12 points. So I don't know if we're going to be going through this game oh, multiple that's, times. That's mm. why, yeah. uh, that's why to this day, television screenwriters, when someone's playing Call of Duty, will say, oh, I lost so many points. <laughs> yeah, yes, because like during that era, <laughs> games were explicitly about points. You know, and as we're yeah. sports. So we're going to say yes. I don't know if we're going to play through this game multiple times, whether that's going to make for good viewing, but we're just going to say fuck yeah. Because also, I don't Let's know keep, if this is the yeah. kind of adventure game where you can just straight up lose. And that's another thing to note. Almost yeah. every game that exists today that is a single player experience, you can't lose. Like you can fail and the game will say, uh, you know, you know, reload at the last save point. You can die. Yeah. Um, you can have a limited number of lives in a game that you run out of and you have to start over again, but you are not in a situation in which you cannot win the game with very, very yeah. limited exceptions. Like yeah. in these kinds of games, you regularly are in that spot where you are hosed. Somewhere yeah, I'll be really curious how much they do that. Where others have found fortunes and treasure. Oh. Oh. How's the audio balance? It is rumored that some who enter are never to be seen again and magic is said to permeate the cave i know of places actions and things i know of nouns i will be your eyes and hands keep oh. watch on your compass it will guide hold on i'll crank this turkey up you, you the are right about one thing master the negotiations were short as a black rod hidden in the cave take these oh. objects and carry them in your inventory which will show you the items you're carrying. Some objects have side effects. For instance, the rod scares the bird. What? And usually, people unsuccessfully manipulating an object are attempting something beyond their or my capabilities and should try a different tack. What are you? Yeah, what are Who you? Am I? Wait, you're this my is eyes the tutorial. And hands. Wait, hold on. We're taking the tutorial. This is the tutorial. We're bringing Take the it. tutorial with us. I hear, I'm cranking this guy. I'm, I'm doubling the volume again. This and might blow out some ears when I hit start game. Somewhere in Colossal Cave. This game, Colossal Cave, can automatically map your journey as you play. This is recommended. Although adventure game aficionados may not want this for themselves. Would you like auto mapping? Fuck yeah. If you've played the game previously, yeah. would you like to clear your existing maps and start making new ones? All right. Well, whatever. Welcome to Big Ass you Cave. Standing at the oh. end of a road before a small brick oh, building. Oh, I road love this. A, forest. a I small can't hear this narrator at all. Out of the building and down a gully. Because of the fucking concerto going on? Yeah, uh, let's do sound. I I actually love this. Um, I haven't. I... It's pretty good. I, I don't know that I've ever experienced a game just like narrating. Oh no, wait, Stanley Parable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> narrating yeah. what I'm doing. All right, all right, perfect. You are standing at the end of a road before a small brick building. Around you is a forest. A small stream flows out of the building and down a gully. Go, oh, does it? All right, I mean it does. Where's that? Wait, is this... If I click, do I walk to this location? You walk to that point. What the Your fuck? Your compass is just full of directions Hold up on, there. Let me, uh, you, we, we are... you didn't want WASD. You right. got that WASD. It's time to make an enemy. Alright, there we go. Oh, nice. It's a slow movement speed. Dude, this is already feels this feels um very big to me this feels like mist why does why does it feel like we can go anywhere i think do anything i think it's like 
Hold on. How do I? What what are the controls? There's something You're about an open forest whatever is... with a deep valley to one side. Okay, There's so I think something that about it's... whatever is going on here that makes me feel like we can go anywhere and do anything. Uh, wow, it literally is not going to tell me. No, click on mouse and keyboard. Ah, that's right. So, uh, escape is the menu, inventory is tab. Ah, shift to sprint. Ah, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So if I hit M. Oh, dude, fuck yeah. Tab? Oh, my compass, hell yeah. Well, I think it's it's kind of the fact that it's unclear what's interactable and what isn't. Like, if I look at this... You're in a forest. It just says things. We're in a things. forest. Punch left click. No. You're in a forest. We are the keepers. You're, you're in a forest. All right, hold on. You're in a forest. All right. <laughs> it's really feeling like that we're we're in a forest. Oh, there's the, the door is closed. Oh look, it's a little stream. The stream tumbles along a rocky bed. Can I go this way? Yeah, that's a whole last path. Wow. We're in a gentle valley near a stream tumbling along a rocky bed. So I, I don't know I how the my stuff. So this is what's really weird is that when you go like in the original text-based adventures, we should actually do a text-based adventure. We should do Zork One one of these days, where like the. Mm. It would say things have like you, Have either of you played Photopia? I don't think I, I don't remember. know. Oh, Photopia. Yeah, I think uh, I played okay. a little and then I was like I was not super cut out for text adventures on my own, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was interesting, but it could not sustain my interest just because of sure. how my interest is implemented. I I, I get that. <laughs> All right, so there's no jump. Dude, jumping is such that's such a jobber move to put jumping in a game. You'll buy a stream in a gentle valley. You'll buy a stream in a gentle valley. Can I? Oh. The door is closed. You buy a bottle of hidden valley. Oh. Ooh, shader effects on objects. Oh, yeah. You see rushing water. I don't know if that's what I would call that. I like that this looks very, like, PS2 or something. You know what I mean? Dude, it really does. Oh, my camera froze. All right, everyone. Congratulations. Uh, uh, Sheriff knocked the camera again. All right, we're going to hit this. We're going to hit that. We're going to hit this. That was such fast retribution. Right, hold on. Yeah, I know. She was like... And we're... Back. There it is. You aren't carrying anything. There is a shiny brass lamp nearby. Alright. Ha <laughs> ha We got points. There is a bottle Podcast. of water here. Ta da Amazing. Amazing. You are inside a building. A well house for a large spring. Yeah, this little, this little flicker. There shader. are some keys on the ground here. What? What? Hell yeah. A game within a game within a game. Oh. Fuck yeah. Wait, this is giving me all the best 90s Hi, again. Like I'm the Roberta 90s. Williams. Yeah. I've had a long shit. and very rewarding career designing yeah. mini adventure games since the year 1980 with my first game, Mystery House. Holy shit. Uh, screens and screens and screens. I'm journey oh, yes. to explore the game that started it all. Colossal Cave Adventure. It's a vast, intricate game that rewards careful exploration and strategy and really tickles your brain. We're already in losing fact, by watching this video. It's the game that made me fall in love no. with game design and led me to my amazing career. In honor of Colossal Cave Adventure's place in gaming history, Ken and I just came out with a brand new version of the old game sporting immersive 3D graphics, this character game is animation, and sound design. Like, we already purchased the game. 
in Africa. Let's dive so. into a quick history of Colossal Cave Adventure. No shit, are you kidding me? Is this it video two hours? It all started in 1972 this when Patricia wild. Crowther, a young computer programmer and mother of two daughters oh God, and an her husband Will, also a computer programmer, were part of a team exploring the large cave system in Kentucky a called documentary about Mammoth itself. Cave. They were both avid spelunkers, and Patricia's role was get, to map the cave, really? which she dutifully did in her muddy notebooks. Wait, the, a, an early cave Each game was made by actual spelunkers? brought the team closer yeah. oh, to yeah, their yeah, ultimate yeah. goal. I had just assumed that it was like, you know... Discovering a suspected link between the Mammoth Cave system RPG and the neighboring people. Flint Ridge Cave system. After hours of exploration deep within what Mammoth the Cave, the team reached a tiny crevice called the tight spot. Only one of the cavers was petite enough to even attempt to squeeze through the tight crack. And that the was rest, Patricia. The rest, sadly, perished. It was a crazy place to even think that you could get your body into. And if you just casually looked down into the hole inside that crack, you would say no one could possibly fit in there. She soon realized that she had emerged within Flint Ridge Cave. Now, a small woman squeezing through the tight spot may not sound like much, but this connection had been theorized for ages. This one simple act has been <laughs> viewed so as the speleological the equivalent of conquering so Mount Everest right for the very first time. They finally had proof that the two caves were part of one enormous 340 mile long cave system. This the definitely began is. began to computerize the map data so, they had collected. This is making me so happy, like in the Return of Zords nonsense way. That connected to a PDP 1 mainframe away. computer at Will's workplace, PDP. which was Volt. It's good, good spatialized sound. <laughs> oh shit, it stopped? Did yeah, it? Yeah, because you left the room. Yeah, you can't Shit. just keep that playing. Oh, it's Here are my pro fast. tips for playing this wonderfully this immersive, but sometimes frustrating oh my God. game. Tip one. Oh, wait. First things gone. first. Well, it, when you're asked video. if you'd like instructions, take them. It may be I mean, tempting to jump right into the game, a little late but trust this, me, the instructions it's will be a us. big help. Tip two. Don't forget I, to keep insane. a notepad and pen nearby. You'll want to take notes as you play. Always remember to bring your name tag. If you're when you having arrive trouble the with cave. the audio or speed of the game, don't worry. You can easily adjust these by going to the game menu and you choosing the settings max out option. The speech volume so you can actually hear a narrator. Tip four: <laughs> Allow the game to auto map your way. If you do, right. you can find the map in the upper left corner of the inventory screen on all versions except VR. On VR, it's the X or primary button on the left controller. I cannot believe it's a recorded or, video for help, that is use small, the Y just... or secondary button. Check your map often. Though it won't reveal what is yet undiscovered, it will keep track of where you've been. It will also display where you have left items behind. Tip five. Save early, oh, save shit. often. At I any place we that you find this. tricky, don't sweat it. Just save your game. That minor Spam action that will vastly reduce any frustration. After completing a puzzle or obtaining an item, Look save your game. Look how many saves there you are. You can save repeatedly and even save over previous saved games as well. Tip six. The compass is essential for navigating the cave, so keep an eye on it. You'll find a compass at the top of the screen, and your score will be at the top left corner. In VR, this is the wild. compass will be on your left controller, <laughs> this is incredible. and your score on the right controller. I feel like I'm in elementary school, and they pulled that huge <laughs> monitor out of <laughs> TV with the <laughs> yeah. I know. Or like you're, or like look you're at a field trip to a local cave, and, and the they're narrator like, will they make you watch you this see. before you go down but the stairs. But when like, the eye glows stairs. over something, he will tell you even more. But remember, not everything you see is important. Some things are merely scenery. Tip Some eight. things are critical, but a lot of it isn't. The hand it cursor really is represents action. <laughs> Wherever you see it glow at a certain area, it means you can try to interact with something. Inventory items oh, also God. glow when hovered over an article they can interact with. Jesus. I'm going to lose my YouTube channel playing Tip this game. Nine. 
search widely with your cursors, whether the eye, on, hand, or inventory the object. On. They will glow when they land over an important area. Will they now? Tip 10. Your inventory will only hold seven items at a time. What? Therefore, you'll need Are to you manage your yes. inventory carefully and anticipate your needs. Your map and will drop the rest of your of shit any on the items floor. you drop along the way. You can also drop things in other areas strategically. You can Tip go 11. to the bathroom on the floor and use magic. Don't plan to, to finish away. the game in one sitting, <laughs> as there are multiple ways to play it. Colossal That's Cave is bigger and channel. more complex than it might seem. Yeah. Yep. There are multiple ways to navigate this game. You'll need to come up with strategies, especially if you're aiming for that high score of 350 points. Friggin'. Tip 12. There are two mazes in Colossal Cave, and they can be somewhat challenging. Ugh. However, there is a Zizzy. simple solution for both, yeah, and a hint will be offered when needed. I don't need hints for mazes. Are you kidding me? Tip I'm You'll find that some cave passages <laughs> are enchanted and may prevent passage. Don't give up. Keep trying. Keep trying. My young With perseverance, you can make it through. Tip 14. And remember, not all puzzles are necessarily logical or fair, so be prepared for anything. <laughs> or even the cave good. can be a prankster. <laughs> Use magic to throw you off track or even get a bit cheeky at times. Another Ooh. reason to save your game often. In case of Tip 15. Save game and case if more. You're feeling baffled. Don't worry. There are hints throughout the game in places where they might be needed. If you're stuck, don't hesitate to take a hint. It will cost you some points, but it's worth it, especially if you're playing the game for the first time. Tip 16. Oh my god. If you're going for the Dude, high score of like 350 tip 44. points, you should have Drink a strategy water in, in real mind. life as well you as in the game. Use your moves sparingly as the mischievous cave now let's will take a five minute plans. bathroom break alternate routes should be considered when going for the maximum score you will not Can want get a to take hints star wipe, or do please. anything that takes away even a single point <laughs> tip 17 <laughs> if you have found the dwarf's oh axe God. and are carrying it around <laughs> be aware that it can be used to expel the dwarf oh, oh, if they have a first move advantage you most likely will have the chance to retaliate if you're close. Okay, I'm taking 21. Eliminating the, over the under. one by one will lessen their presence. Tip 18. Yep, see, 21. More, if you're feeling more, really more stuck and need more help, it can't you can call our hit line 206 Don't be afraid to what? 017. Okay, wait, wait. Our Colossal Cave is exactly the same as the original 350 point Crowther and Woods well, version as far as the gameplay and puzzles are concerned. So walkthroughs and hints online may help you as well. You may also access our website, colossalcave3d.com, for more hints or information. From its start as a simple text-based game to our latest revival, Colossal Cave's impact on the gaming industry is immeasurable. It not only paved the way for modern adventure fuck? games, it's still incredibly fun and challenging to play. I hope you'll try our tribute to this historic, phenomenal game and experience the magic for yourself. If you enjoy it, please give us an honest review. We hope others will enjoy the adventure as well. Incredible. This exists. Unbelievable. Did, did, you, did you hear the hint line that I called? Yeah. Ow! Colossal Cave. Reimagined by Roberta Williams. No, that's the guy that I was calling. The only way out. It's still it's going. The, the video's not fucking done. Holy shit. What happens if I click it again? Tips and tricks again. So, okay, so there's two videos on here. Amazing. How many points did we lose for watching that? Uh, we, we didn't lose any, but we didn't gain any either. All right. Okay. Well, okay. Jesus. Well, I, I feel very well briefed, honestly. I feel yeah uh, ready I mean, to enter the I, the video game. I put eighteen tips down on my graphing uh, notebook. Yep. Yeah. My cat I has been will, really upset lately. 
I will fucking lose my shit if there's like a gift shop in this game where you can just buy drink, you know, merch. V- virtual merch. Virtual. M- virtual, yeah, virtual. We got there. Yeah. Do you, so I'll virtual like merch. my shirt. Let me just. Oh yeah. See it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yes. Oh, there you are. Oh yeah. All right. Well, uh, friends, uh, let me just go ahead and discover the. Is F5 save game? Nope. I actually have to click this button. Oh, see, that's how they raise the difficulty level. Yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm just going to go down this way. I mean, I'm going to look at some stuff. You are in a gentle valley near a stream tumbling along a rocky bed. This game is wild. You'll buy a stream in a gentle valley. It is giving me that, like, Mario 64 open world feeling. Though. Like, I don't know. I don't yeah, know how yeah, it's yeah. achieving that. I think there, there's what I'm going to call a thick open world, okay? Which is like, if you show me a generic open world game where I can just begin running in a direction, but I know all trees don't matter, all rocks don't matter, all terrain doesn't matter unless it shines and sparkles, yeah, it yeah. feels small. But here, like yes. the fact that I can just look at this... You'll buy a stream in a gentle valley. I click on things, and it person fucking talks to me like that's crazy (laughs) like yo look at this and the thing is you never quite know when something is interactable or not and i think that's what makes it feel big is the unclarity there like the grate is locked wait where is the water draining uh i see yeah, it just goes right down into the... I guess the, we're um, not petite enough to set through that narrow The place. cistern. You yeah, we can't get through it. Yeah. Okay. Fuck that yeah. Is worth no points. Worth no points. There's yeah, no what? use for that here. What? What do you mean? I don't think you were on the thing. Yeah, there you go. You're spelunking now. You're in a small chamber beneath <laughs> a 3x3 three three steel grate to the surface. A low crawl cool. of the cobbles leads inwards to the west. Please keep area clear. What the? You're in a small Ooh. chamber beneath a strange. Wait, what era is Looks this? Looks like others have been here before you. Nothing happens. This, ha- this has the wonderful feeling that Zork. Yeah. Return to Zork had, where it's like, what fucking that era is this? What here. genre are we in? You're below There's the grate. Right. A crawl right. of can the you put that leads litter to the in west. the can and get some points? Yeah, because it, it, I, I mean, I think it's like 1976, but there are dragons and dwarfs and shit, so. I also am loving the fact that these caves look like real caves. Yeah. Like, if you You're compare this to, like, caves no in, use for that like, here. Skyrim or something, like, this looks like actual caves. Yeah. Because yeah. it's made by You're in a small chamber spelunkers. beneath a 3x3 three three steel grate to the surface. A low crawl of a cobbles leads inwards. To oh wait, the what west. does that say? There was a newspaper article. Is that I'm desperate to know what it is? Extra, 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 extra. Yeah, it's oh, got a housing okay, so element. It's, <clears throat> it's 1936. So, um, do you want to go left or right? Left. left. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Should we do like? <clears throat> what is the right hand rule is where you keep your right hand you are on the crawling wall. over cobbles yeah, but you could, we could also do the left hand roll uh oh well we just brass we need lantern. to just remember the lantern is now lit and we have limited <laughs> fuel <laughs> the lantern is now lit abandon the vessel immediately oh yeah look look at the, the ground and shit like this is I mean, made by actual cave people I mean, you know what I mean. You're crawling and in a low And there's just passage. the right amount of just trash in there, you yeah. know? Okay, now all I want it to do is... Maybe this exists, but I would love to just, like... There is a small tool around cage in some, like, nearby. Oh my virtual God. caves. Like, like actual, Dude. like, virtual, virtual recreations of actual caves. Brass Lantern. You have turned off the lantern. Uh oh. Holy shit, I can't see fucking anything, man. Yeah. This, is, this is a cave. This is the cave. You're, you're... This is the cave. This. 
I just I never realized how unsatisfyingly cavey other ca game games Brass have Lantern. been. The this Lantern game is, is literally no delivering on what it promises. Yeah, colossal good cave, cave adventures. It's it's, this is a good cave here. That's the best cave I've ever seen in a game. How uh, how's your map doing? Yeah, I mean it it's it's we're gonna find out. I gotta reach over the cat. See, there we are to open forest. So we wander around here. Here's the. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got there. names for the different chambers. Look at that. Cobble crawl. crawl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Roberta Williams would write about. That. Could you try again? What? Is um, that Siri? That was Siri. Oh, oh. I like freaked me out. I was like, there's someone in the cave. We're not alone. <laughs> I'm gonna yeet my uh, my watch. Not on my watch. <laughs> um yeah this is great this is great i guess this is reminding me of that thing of like if you want to make games go have real experiences not just game experiences you're right. crawling in a low passage yeah this i believe just loops back to where we were yeah because this is where we came from i mean it's it's sort of funny lee because I think you're saying that because this game feels so unlike other games. And yet, this game is the progenitor for all other game. I mean, well, like... It's not, it's, it's not that it feels like it's not like other games. It's that it feels like this no. cave was rendered by someone who knows caves. Oh, Zizzy. my God. X, Y, Zizzy. Zizzy, Y. This was in Return <laughs> to Zork. Not Return to Zork. This was also the in... Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X, Y, Z, Z, yep, Y, and get back to the twisty the... passages. It says there's a Zizzy. No, it doesn't say X, Y, Z, 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 you have turned off the lantern. What the fuck? Dude, this is this is what it must feel like to be a zoomer and watch the Matrix for the first time. Like this is crazy, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that miss is insane. I, I think I'm that's also... a Roberta Williams edition. I don't I'm... think that's original. What is? This strange pulling sensation. Oh, I'm I'm loving the um, the, just the narrator. The fact that the text, uh, the text adventure is 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 has come along for the ride. It's getting difficult to see in here. Fuck it. Oh wait, shit. Brass lantern. Is this the game that had grooves in it as well? I know the Zork games had grooves. Uh, no, Zork I think that was just Zork. The lantern is but not. But I'm not lit. sure. I don't know. This game has this jump makes... scares. That's bullshit. There is not jump scares in text-based adventure games. This makes me want to make games of walking around and and having the narrator narrate stuff. You are in a debris Ooh. room filled with stuff washed in from the surface. A low, wide passage with cobbles becomes plugged with mud and debris here, but an awkward I mean, canyon does... leads upward and west. It does feel very Stanley Parable, just to have this British dude describing the things that yeah. we see. Yeah, but I like that it's not like a gimmick. Like I, I actually yeah. like it just as a as a thing. It's like we have a DM, you know. When Max Turtle says Wikipedia says X Y Z Z Y was in the original, what about um, you feel a strange pulling sensation? You're in a yeah, room filled with debris. Him. An awkward canyon leads to the west. Awkward canyon. What's in my inventory? Bottle of, take bottle of water. It's Tasty food. Bottle. Set of keys. Ugh. Wicker cage. Strange pulling sensation. I like that we just had like a ham on. Or was Sid Tree? What what I'm saying is, did strange pulling sensation was that in the original 1977 one? Brass lantern. Oh, oh wow. goodness! That was a mighty fall. Good job. 
You oh dear. You Are seem you to have been ousted from your adventure. Roberta. I might be able to help, but I've never really done this before. Do you want me to try and resurrect you? Amazing. <laughs> Dude. Amazing. Oh. My god. Okay, so another thing that was just commonplace and not just text adventure games, but graphic adventure games, going all the way back, is that... The, the, okay, so so um, arcade games, again, in the Space Invaders Centipede, you know, era, like, that was, first of all, the very first place where people could even get digital interactive entertainment, because the idea is, well, you wouldn't buy all that complex electronics at home. There would be a centralized location, like uh, an arcade or a pizza parlor, and they you would go there and you'd put in a quarter and you'd play it. And so making sure you lost and died often was a critical part of the business model success of arcades. That if you were able to play for too long too easily, then, you know, it wouldn't be a good investment. So games just killed you a ton. And so, yeah. like, these early adventure games, first of all, had a restart button. Like, if you if you would go to the menu, it would be like, do you want to load a save? Or close the game, or just restart the entire game, because <laughs> you would realize you were completely locked and you couldn't make any progress. So you just restart, or you were frustrated because you were dying and you thought you didn't have enough, so you just restart the game. But like literally walking off a cliff happened all the time. And and dude, Kazaka says you feel strange pulling sensation is in fact from this game. That's crazy. Amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. I, I never knew but that. Don't blame That's me wild. if something goes wrong. Brass lantern. Did that change our turned off the Did that change our uh, state somehow? I uh, I think. Did we have more than seventeen points? At one point. No, we lost ten points. We had twenty-seven. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. This game's a hater. Also, this, this game is, is an opening into a cave. This game is exceeding all of my expectations as being a historical gem. Brass, the lantern this is, is now lit. Like games, games these days do not work like this. No. I mean, let me tell you, if this, if this were made by an executive team, there would be like a there would be simple crafting and thirst and hunger and a light RPG tree and a mini map. Yeah, like on the screen at all times. All right, uh, all right, Sean. Since Lee said let's go left last time, do you want to go left or do you want to go right? I'll give you the choice. Yeah, keep going left. Sir, yes, sir. Oh God, I got you. It's amazingly musicless. You're in yeah, an awkward too. sloping east-west canyon. Do you're in an awkward sloping east-west can canyon? Oh, look, it's the awkward um, canyon. <laughs> Should we be assuming that, like, our character uh, is able to? What am I trying to say? That they have a good dexterity, or if the we see a canyon blank? like this, should we not, you know, try to canyon. go past? It? Are are we playing the spelunker who can fit through the tight gap? Yeah, into that's what I. The other cave system. Oh, that is baby. what I want to know. This is some steep shit right here. Yeah. <clears throat> what? I, lo I love how. Hold on, I love hold how on. human we Brass are. Brass lantern. You have. T it is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will most uh -oh. likely fall into a pit. Wait, but there was Brass light over there. lantern. All right. The lantern is now lit. A cheerful little bird is sitting here singing. You could catch the bird, but cannot carry it. Yes, I can. I have a bird Wicker cage. Wicker cage. You have captured the bird. <laughs> That's Fucking particles, bird. man. Oh, Dude. so now if the bird if the bird dies, that means like we have to leave, right? Or some shit. The canary in a coal mine thing. Yeah. What? You're in a splendid chamber. The walls, frozen rivers of orange stone. An awkward wow, canyon and a good passage exit from the east and west sides of this chamber. I like those, how the... Like, why is somebody looking at us from there? It's fucking Gruz, oh. dude. I, um... I love how this is, like... 
for geologists. You know what I mean? What? Is that a blinker sound? At your feet is a small pit breathing traces of mist. A white mist, usually water, seen from time to time in caverns. It can be found anywhere, but is frequently a sign of a deep pit leading down to water. This, um, this is the most interested I've ever been in a video game cave. This is, this is a good cave. This, this is, is a good, good cave. cave. This is, um, this feels like the, you know, truck, truck driver simulator of caves. At your feet you know I mean? is a small pit breathing traces of mist. A white mist, usually water. Rough stone steps lead down the pit. Here's the thing. Like, the fact that we found steps is, like, blowing my mind. Whoa! What? Dude, okay. What? What is that? What the fuck is that? There's somebody up there. Drinking rye. You're at the east end of a vast hall stretching out of... Hall of Mists. Dude, dude. Okay, like... Lee. I am I am yeah. dialed in. I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to be expecting right now. I don't have a clue. Me neither. I didn't even realize how much I was at the whims of tropes. This is absolutely tropeless. This is completely bonkers, man. I mean, we've been tipped off to the fact that there are dwarves and that we should not be afraid to kill them. And use the axe using, to kill them. Using yeah. the, the axe, yeah. I might sleep. That was my favorite tip. That was such a good tip. Use the axe to kill the dwarves with a bit of their own medicine. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, like I... So I'm not going to go here. Because, like, by the way... Back to the west. There are openings to either side. To the north, a cold wind blows up from a wide stone staircase leading downward. The hall is filled with wisps of white mist swaying to and fro, almost as if alive. Oh Rough stone steps go upward behind you, and an upward scramble to the south leads to a chamber. So this is this is the thing about like Okay, so so actually I'm just gonna go to the maps so that we have some more visual interest. So Oh my god, by the way, uh Lee, Sean, if any of you have any like points to make, I I'm I Please jump in because I'm I'm like absolutely intellectually tickled right now. Cause like oh wait hold on I gotta go save game. Okay so I'm gonna do a thing and then I'm gonna make a point. So like let's let's see what All this right. guy is. What is you see a person. He has openings on the top and the bottom. To the right is an arm. To the left <laughs> is another arm. <sighs> oh my god. Should we be watching this? He's a miner. Oh. Whoa. That was the most amazing gesture. Who? Oh, what the fuck? Whoa. What? Sean, what the fuck just happened, Sean? Okay. You won't get it up the steps. It says you won't get it up the steps. You won't get it up the steps. There is a large, you know sparkling thing. nugget of gold here. Unfortunately, you're in a low room. Get it up the steps. Veins of gold cover the walls. Okay, so so can so. we mine You're some in a low room. Gold? Veins of gold cover the walls. You could never pull it out, no matter how hard you try. Yay! We got gold. Yeah, Wait, gold. so we can't, can't pull that thing out of the wall, but huh? we can carry it's a like giant coal. gold thing. Don't dirty your hands with it. Coal. Nothing happens. There's no use okay. for that here. So here's here's the point that I want to make, which is that like. I've talked a little bit about this before with um, previous games that I feel like there is a there is fun in a game, mm -hmm. but then there's often this structure that sits on top of that fun, and that structure is kind of guiding you through it. So a really simple example is in the original 2D Mario games, you start at the left of a level and you go to the right of a level or to the right of the level until you get to the you know the the ending pipe or like the flag or you know whatever version it's in i'll just say flag since that's the original you go from left to right till you hit a flag and that's it 
you never like go to the left. <laughs> you just go to the right. Period. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then you are told you beat the level, and then you are on to the next level. And there's these really subtle psychological things that I think happens in your brain that you don't think about. Things like, I am now completely done with the last level. I am never going to go back there. And when it says world one, level one, and then you do one, two, and one, three, and then you go on to level two, or excuse me, world two, level one, level two, level three. Yeah. Um, that sort of structure is, especially in modern games, often the main thing that you are playing with the mechanical fun of, you know, for instance, in Mario, running and jumping and trying to avoid monsters and get power-ups. Yeah, that second-to-second -second fun is what we associate with Mario, but it's really that structure that's there. You can imagine if in Mario there was no overarching structure. You just kind of wandered from left to right. It kind of, it's so, it, like, immediately just, you're just like, what the fuck? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Or like in a lot of open-world games most of what you are doing is the meta structure. You are completing all the quests and going to the locations to retrieve the things and bring them back to the locations to turn them in. You are in between doing what we think of as the game, which would be like combat or like leveling or stuff like that. Um, and so whenever I'm like playing a new game, I'm trying to more than anything, understand what's the meta structure that you want me to do. Do you want me to beat levels? Is that what I'm trying to do? Am I trying to beat levels? Am I trying to, um, you know, like in Path of Exile, am I trying to just, like, increase the stat gain on my items by, like, killing mobs and find better items and level them up, like, and then move on to more advanced stages with harder mobs that have better drops? Like, what, what is it that I'm trying to do? And what I love about, especially these really early graphic adventure games, is I have no fucking clue what the structure of this game is at no point in time. Like, we saw a dwarf. Am I supposed to... Kill dwarves, like in an ARPG, all right. monsters are killable unless you're in town. And then in town, there's nothing that's killable and there's only talkable. Like, there's these really linear structural delineations that exist in these places. And like, right. I can't tell if there's going to be monsters popping out. This thing just said, good luck getting it up the stairs. I don't know if this means I can't get it up the stairs. I have no clue what the rules are. And so much of the gameplay of these old school adventure games is just figuring out what the fuck are the rules? Like, what even is the structure? What am I trying to do? Right. Oh, it's utterly fascinating to me. I do think that it does give us a large scale structure, which is to mm. map the caves. Yeah. Right. Like that, that seems to have been presented pretty well, but yeah. what that entails is really unclear. And yeah, how it involves dwarves and dragons, I don't know. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to resume and see what the hell happens yeah. when I take this gold up here. Because this, you won't get it up the stairs. Those Has steps are made... unclimbable while carrying that heavy gold nugget. Oh, there it is. Wow. Brass Has lantern. anybody made uh, just a, just a Super Mario Brothers like original Super Mario Brothers, except that it's all one level? It's just the whole game just, is just mushed just into one level. Off. Watch out! Whoa! No! Jesus! Uh oh! Uh oh! Go, go oh, get his uh, go get his fucking axe! What? Uh. Uh. Where do you think you threw it? Was it? I don't know. Was the axe like? A physical object? Are the dwarves? You're in the east end of the Hall they... of Mists. A wide staircase goes and downward, and rough stone them? steps lead up. I mean, that is a chamber to the south. Because <laughs> that dwarf just—I mean, are the, are are they just that allergic? I to mean, us he that they immediately pop. Yeah. The fissure is wide and deep. Don't fall in. I have promises to keep. What did uh, <laughs> What did you pick up, Sean? A dwarven axe. Oh, you did. There must be a way to cross this fissure. This isn't like an Indiana Jones thing, is it? Where you just have to like trust just, and believe and just walk. Like this. You just walk and save scum. Absolutely great question. 
Uh, oh, my uh, uh, oh, we uh, took damage four. while we fell, for sure. Oh, no. Oh, dear. You seem, you seem to, to have, have fallen. Been... Oh, my God. Using 127 turns. You're obviously nice. a rank amateur. Yeah, games that just shat on you right to your face. Damn. You're obviously a noob. I looked at your score after 127 turns and found it embarrassing. If you were an Egyptian god, you'd be a noobus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, my cat is just looking at me and purring, and she's been a little grumpy. So let's actually... Oh. Get around. Yeah. Hi, Dispy. Oh my god. Very good. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> really good. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we're tired. Hey, Despy. You okay? No, she's flicking her tail. She doesn't like all the attention, but I mean, that was... That was so good. That was, that was a good little mirror. <clears throat> Alright. Despertato. In the gloom, you can discern a mysterious hall, seemingly wrought by ancient hands. I wonder who it could be, not the two dwarves that screamed and disappeared. Alright, my, my mouse hand is not long for this world. In the gloom, you can discern a mysterious hall, seemingly wrought by ancient hands. Can I walk up the stairs? No, it's the original Yeah, but stairs. if you do, you will no longer perceive a mysterious hall wrought by ancient hands. It's true. Too true. Too true. Is your uh, lantern still... Yeah, I think it's lit? doing okay. I think, so. I think that that is the lost condition of the game. Like, if your lantern runs out... The then you are truly fucked. Yeah. Oh, what? shit. Whoa. Mountain We're King. We're in the Hall of the Mountain King. You're in the Hall of the Mountain King, with passages off in five directions. <laughs> Am I gonna get like DMCA'd like crazy here? Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know what yeah. performance is. Fucking ah! all of these gonna be like. Whoa! Whoa! Jesus Whoa! Christ! Wow! That's not what a snake do. Dwarf's axe. Attacking the snake won't work and is very dangerous. A huge green fierce snake bars the way. Oh, it's a puzzle snake. No, that is a fucking terror snake right there. Fucking jump scares and fast race games, goddamn. That's not right. Jesus, what's with the base of it appearing and disappearing? <laughs> hold on, this is some. Hold so, on. Okay, 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 okay. So let's let's try to figure out how the how the tropes work, right? So apparently in this game, when you encounter something, it just sort of spawns and despawns yeah is that that's accurate huh we're gonna find I, out so i assume player, yeah. it's gonna come back yeah god damn god, wait for me to be close. christ oh my Fucking. god a huge Such green snake. fierce snake bars the way how about some meat tasty food use that won't work with the snake okay bottle of water maybe he loves gold large gold what about, nugget what about a bird would he eat a bird Little bird in a cage. Little bird, uh oh. Little bird. The little bird little attacks bird. the green snake, and in an astounding fuck? flurry, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Are you kidding me? What? Fuck yes. We just rolled a nat twenty on that one for sure. All right. So I, th I feel like that was a very good use of our bird. We 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 don't have a bird anymore. Okay, oh, bird has yeah, is there... tomb. Sorry, All right. you'll need to drop something before you. Uh -oh. oh, we have a limited drop the inventory. Set of keys. Yeah, drop the bird. Set of keys. <clears throat> no, drop the bird cage. Oh, okay. What good are keys? Could that anyway? be the ancient mountain king? Probably not. Probably not. He looks a lot like an unreal asset store skeleton. <laughs> Free version. <laughs> Precious jewelry. <laughs> uh, Do we get points for our precious jewelry? We can only have 46 of these. 
Bad boys. Play his ribcage like a marimba. If I get like a marimba bong, I don't know what it's called, the thing that actually strikes. It's called the marimba bong. It's yeah, a it's mallet? called a marimba bong. Is that bong. what it is? If I find a mallet? I think it's called a... If I find a judge's gavel, oh, it is a mallet? It, it's, a, it's a bong, you know, because it even, makes the noise of ping bong. I, is, can it be a mallet if it's round? Is that a bars of silver here? Oh. Uh, can we take all of these things Whoa. back to the shack and like... Can we use this them? them or store them or something? That said Y2. It says Y2. It, here's the thing, is that like... You know how we Zizzy. thought Y2K Zizzy. was scary? There's yeah. nothing to do yeah. with it here. What? When they what? went from Zizzy. year one to year two, they they literally didn't know what was gonna happen. It was like Zizzy. it's only yeah. been we'll, we'll year care. one. Like that's the that's all we've ever done. Yep. That's why Christmas was such a big deal. So wait. <laughs> can I say Zizzy up here? I think you can say it wherever you want. Well, you couldn't say I it. I just don't right know there. that. It, Matters. Oh, Zizzy. I see. Zizzy. That Zizzy. is a large gold nugget. Zizzy. Zizzy. Nothing happens. Is there a, is there a way to tell well, when shit. it's active by like... Can you only use it once? I don't or know. do you have to use it... Oh, fuck. Wait. Is it one of these fucking games where we can say X, Y, Z, Z, Y once? And like we I, need to solve a oh or oh this fucking game. All right, I'm gonna drop all of our good shit here. Press dwarf's axe. Dwarf's axe. All right, I'm going back down. You see, this is another thing that's really strange about these kinds of games is that like there's just so much like insane maze like structure to all these things yeah well and when you were mapping it by hand in the text adventure you had no sense of space like there was no sense of like this is how large this room is relative to the previous room so it's really nice when it maps it for us yeah. that like maybe we you can, can fit through this small it's, crack. it's mapping the rooms accurately yeah Maybe you can fit through this. You find yourself in the Hall of Mists after squeezing through a we tight did crack. We did. We got uh -oh. to the tight space. We got back. What? Is that a Dark Souls return point? Huh. Yeah, but it, it doesn't relink. It's, it's a Dark Souls one way. So, whatever. There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. A sharp Admit. knife is thrown. Dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. Ugh. Vanquished? Is that... You, you vanquished a little dwarf. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not murder if it's self-defense. Th although he already threw the knife. I... Right, he was unarmed at the time. Yeah, vanquished. like... Is, yeah. Roberta that, told me to do it. Roberta yeah. was like, tip 18, kill dwarves in cold blood with their own <laughs> tools. All right. It's very like, it's very like, I didn't murder anyone, officer. I vanquished him. <laughs> yeah, I know. It does sound like a little bit of a uh, semantic defense. All right. Now I'm curious to go down here. Yeah. Or to go through this room. Uh, uh, Lee, do you want to go down or do you want to go out? Uh, let's go down. All right. I'll hit it with the right clicks. Boop, 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 oh. Boop, boop. Oh. 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 We're treated Ladder. to an animation. <laughs> uh. Damn, this thing goes down. Uh. Damn. Short it gets low. Damn. This ladder has legs. 
<laughs> oh my god, someone someone on on like so you know the the for you section of Twitter is just an absolute jumble of fighting and softcore pornography. Like there is nothing relevant to anything I'm interested in on Twitter. Uh -huh. There's some gaming takes peppered in there, but in the for you tab one person was like, yeah, I just got done playing Gabriel Knight 1. A lot of nostalgia, but I couldn't shake the feeling that Gabriel Knight was a creep. And I responded, I was like, yeah, I was up talking about legs. And that person <laughs> liked my response. And I was just like, fuck yeah. Amazing. Um, so I always, with Gabriel Knight, you know the interview that Jane Jensen did? Or, no, it wasn't an interview. It was an article. But she talks about interviews where like everyone's like, I don't know, like basically she You're wrote this sort of, a of defensive article pit. about a crawl how leads it's west. okay it's okay and it's good to write sexy main characters like sexy sexy men as your main characters and she's like talking about how like sexy the sexy men are and like like Gabriel Knight and stuff but it always reminds me of the joke in Spinal Tap where somebody accuses them of being sexist and one of the guys is like What's wrong with being sexy? <laughs> it's like spot on. <laughs> All right, let me. What's wrong with Gabriel Knight being sexy? All right, I'm. I uh. So. That won't work here. You, you can't, can't fit through a two-inch slit. Shorty, don't fit Damn. through a two-inch slit. I did when I was born, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> this is the commentary you couldn't get in 1977 that we delivered today. Up. You're in the bottom of a small pit with a little that. stream, which enters and exits yeah. through tiny slits. Ooh. Bottle you know, of water. A little bit of a slip ah. pit. You were getting a bit thirsty. Nah. Your can bottle you is now full. Oh, nice. cave juice. Bottle of water. B bottle of water. Bottle of water. Nut scroll. Nut scroll says I could fit. <laughs> also, is Nut scroll has a crown? Are you somehow special, Nut scroll? Uh, Prime yeah. Gaming. Oh, Prime. Oh, he has Nut scroll. He uses Amazon Prime. As I a thought it Duke meant like Jeff mod. Bezos. The Duke of Bezos. Is, is anybody else concerned that like stuff is actively falling from the ceiling of this cave? Well, Despy isn't, are you? No, that happens all the time. Meh. Oh, are you mad at me? Okay. That's uh, just the cave spores. Huh? Okay. All right, I'm going to go this Dark. way. You're in a dirty, broken passage. To the east uh. is a crawl. To the west is a large passage. Above, You're in a dirty, you see a hole dirty to another little passage. passage. You're in a large room full of dusty rocks. There is a big hole okay. in the floor. There are Jesus. cracks everywhere, and a ah, passage leading stop. east. There are just so many cracks. Cracks you can fit in, and cracks that are tiny slits you can't. Wait, so there was a, there's a thing above us somewhere here, right? Um, this was Whoa. back in this There are faint room. rustling noises from the darkness behind you. What? I feel like we might be go going You're in a, a dirty little passage. too really and too deep. A dirty, dirty passage. There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. Damn. Fuck it. It. Dwarf's axe. We are in. You have vanquished we a are little dwarf. Unkillable. Oh, fucking scared the shit out of me, man. Yeah, this is. Holy shit! This game is fucking frightening me, man. I can't handle this. I guess we, as some Nat says, we should have. I guess we should have known the source of the rustling noises. You hear a rustling yeah. noise. But it's not like you're playing. I, is that what happens I in a text-based game? It just all of a sudden new text comes up. There's a dwarf. I don't think so. I mean, I wish not that usually. it. I, I wish that all these creatures weren't spawn in, spawn out. You know, I wish they were like. You stumble around in the dark and seem to have returned where you started. Don't give up. Keep trying. You can Wait, really Wait. succeed at the right. thing. I'm doing it again. You stumble you around in the dark it. and seem to have returned where you started. How the hell do you think you beat this game, by the way? What's the objective here? 350 points. Mapping? I, love I think that. it's mapping. I think it's completely mapping the cave. Bed to quilt. I love that. Oh, stop that. 
I love that um, it says <laughs> keep trying, and we try it again. And it you just, need to be a little closer to climb didn't that. didn't say anything. It was like, I, you know, you're, you're probably <laughs> down here, aren't you? I need to get, like, an isolated clip of him saying keep trying uh, to play his affirmations and when I wake up in the morning. Yeah. You've awoken in your bed. You hear a faint rustling sound. I mean, I... <laughs> I, I really feel like a narrator. You are in bed quilt, a long east-west passage with holes everywhere. See, okay. In spelunking, they give the they give the chambers interesting names on maps. Yeah, and uh, I'm wondering if those crystals were added to this version of the game. Because they don't seem to show up in the in the dialogue or in the in the narration. That is true. They don't seem to. Oh, they seem shit. to have been added for visual interest. Visual interest, which I... they are. You have crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Okay. So this is where we came from, right? So we dropped from up down there, here. I think, yeah. Um, we haven't been in the pink room. There is a threatening dwarf. Um, a sharp Christ, knife is thrown. Dwarf. It uh oh. Dwarf's axe. You have attacked a little dwarf, but he has dodged out of the way. He has he has escaped. He dodged out of the way. You shan't stop Ooh. killing any who enter your path. Ooh, look at this room. It's it's under the sea. It's a clam. There is an enormous clam oh. here. Clams. Its shell is tightly closed. Maybe You're in a large room in here carved out of sedimentary changes. rock. The floor and walls <laughs> are littered with bits of shells embedded in the stone. A shallow passage proceeds downward, and a somewhat steeper one leads up. A low hands and knees passage enters from the south. So that's where we just came in. It is too big and heavy to carry. This is like one of the most engaging exploratory experiences. Yeah. What the shit? Yeah, it's very good. Holy shit, there's the, the clam. There yeah. he be. Uh, North? Down? What do, what do we think? Uh, north. I know. Up. I, I'm loving the variety of rock types and stuff. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh shit, is this is this Quaylag's domain? Like, what is this? This is an Quaylag. old coral passage. It's now blocked coral. by debris. Fuck, coral passage. That's sick. Okay. It says it's blocked, but I feel like I could get over that if I was I there. definitely like, I mean, yeah, I could get in there. I don't know, but on the map it says there's no exit, so... I believe it. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? This makes me want to make adventure games. Like, like not like... Not just like real adventure games, but like little like shitty like Friday afternoon adventure games. You're in a Which I'm hoping to do more of. I want to get back in You're this in way a cold of, like, research Fridays. Huh. Yeah, I mean, th there's something that I think is really pleasing about a game whose, like, graphical fidelity is very functional. That, like, um, just, like, vets an idea and then doesn't have to worry about any performance or polish or other assets or anything. <laughs> yes. I like out. those sort of, those, like, narrow cast games where it's, like, it's like, this game doesn't have to be polished because it's for exactly one kind of person. Yeah, yeah. right. Alright, so I'm going to go this way. You see a Actually, sturdy ladder. To... What? Let's see if I can get away with Free Search Fridays it's... every Friday. What, what is the name of that really, really basic chair? What is this called? Look at that. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What? You see a little dwarf relaxing. 
He hasn't now, seen this. You. Is my shit yet. right here? This this kind of genre bending dwarf's weird axe. ass zorky no use nonsense. For that here. That is a threatening and it's got a dwarf. Cable. A sharp There's knife a is thrown. What the fuck? What the fuck? It, you have vanquished a little dwarf. Okay. Okay. He's looking right um, at us. I love that there is the table made out of an old, like, dwarf's cable axe. coil thing. Whoa. Are we just killing everyone involved in wit construction? Holy shit, what? I don't know. What is that? There's looks like the wit construction company, whoever they are. Are building something. I wonder what. Spelunker today. I'm afraid the magazine written. is written in dwarvish. Okay. I feel bad for killing all these dwarves. I don't at all. None of them have been killed. They were just vanquished, all right? Oh, that's true. We KO'd them. So. So we, we came down Dwarf. here. So this should go to the bed quilt room. Yep, yeah, so here's the ladder down from the bed quilt room. Dalekons, I feel bad we get zero points for killing dwarves. Lee, go ahead and put that on your notes for Research Friday. Like, is it more fun to kill for points or just to kill for your own <laughs> insatiable bloodlust? <laughs> oh, my. What was that? Oh, dear. What the shit? What? Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is this... Okay. Wits end. So there's a north, south, east, west, and all the diagonals here. And this is like a really common. And also an up. You have crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Okay, so this don't give up. This is a really common trope uh, in specifically the text-based adventure. When I made a text-based adventure, I made a maze like this, where the idea is that rather than have it be a fixed location where you know the north leads to room A and the west leads to room B and so on and so forth. You have to go through this area in a particular order. Yeah. And Lost uh, Forest. Yeah, you know, yeah, Lost Woods or like in King's Quest 2 when it was second swift were wisely spent searching everywhere we went. So every single the start of each um word in the clue is north, south, east, west. So that's how you like navigate mm -hmm. through to find the castle. Oh, it's so fucking good and I love that this is called Wits End. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. You need to be a little closer to climb that. <sighs> Get a little bit closer to ladders to climb. You have crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the Damn, main passage. What the f oh no, up and down are just more directions, <laughs> wow. guys. Completely You've brutal. What the fuck? I'm stuck here? Fucking what the fuck? You are fucking Pulled around stuck. in some little holes and found your way blocked by a recent cave-in. You're now back in the main passage. Oh, cave-in. Holy shit, we're stuck here. I think we better start, um... Guessing? Even Force if we start mapping it, it doesn't... Oh, okay, it's map. Uh, north. <laughs> You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. I'm, I'm, I'm betting that Zizzy works in this one. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Generalities says this hole was made. You've for crawled us. around in some little holes and wound up back in the main. Any way other than us. Little You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. This chamber contains a large cyan puzzle. <laughs> You find You've a ladder around and a some large little holes and found your way blocked by a recent cave-in. You're now back Go in down. the main passage. Cave in, cave out. 
You have crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Wow, it's almost as if all of life is a series of uh, prisons within each other. You've crawled around in some little holes and found your way blocked by a recent cave-in. You're now back in the main passage. Okay, so we can't go west. Northeast. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Don't give up. Keep trying. You are at wit's end. Passages lead off in all directions. Oh, I, I need to be looking. You're at wit's end. You're, You're at, at wit's, wit's end. end. You're at wit's end. Passages lead off in all directions. You're at wit's end. You see a sturdy ladder. I feel like every time he says we're at wit's end, it's like using another move. Yeah, I mean, like, there's always really... There's always some sort of, like, hint structure here that I'm trying to figure out what it would... What it would be doing. Because there's, like, there's the you're at wit's end and don't give up. Yeah. Does Zizzy work here? Zizzy. I, Zizzy. I bet it does. There's no use for that here. Well, we're fucked. Sean Bouchard, I just had the weirdest idea for an, a little, like, engine. What? What's up? It would take an inform game. Okay. You've and turn it into some little holes and something like this block. that's walkable, that You've crawled reads around the descriptions little... as you go. You've crawled... But here's the fun part. I figured out that in inform, it's not just north, south, east, west. I mean, those are common. But then right. it was like, oh, if you, you need know, help something out could of be here, under I can the give bed. You a hint, or... But it will cost you three oh. points. If you want the hint, touch the glow um, at the west passage, but hurry before it disappears. Oh, fuck no. I don't want bit. no fucking hint. I wanted to see what it would do um, if I kept But go on, Lee. But then, but then I was realizing that it's like you know you could be you can all have all sorts of just you could have say a space under the bed that's under the bed, but then right, yeah. the the game the engine I was thinking would then render that as under would be a passage like any other, and then you'd end up under the bed like in the room called under the bed when you walk through. <laughs> It's like I don't know. It's just and then it was like some weird semantic. Uh, well, and how? Yeah, it, like how is it rendering these spaces? That's what I. Well, first I was assuming north, south, east, west, and then I had the funny thought that it's like, oh, any preposition <laughs> would be could be a doorway. Um, uh, but is it just rendering of, them as like generic rooms? Like, yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I mean. That was my first. It, I, the interesting thing is just that my first You've thought about it. some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. I, I I realized that it would be this set of rooms and hallways that represented right an arbitrary. You've crawled around at some little holes I mean, and wound up I, back I, in the main passage. Really magic crawl. Really, like having somebody read out descriptions of things that you can't see while you navigate the space, kind of parallel to. The yeah. world that you're visualizing. Hey, but and like to so like to go. Are you, are you calling like, the hint line? I think I'm going to call the hint line. Oh, I yeah. want to. I want to. Yeah. I want to see if this can actually. You've reached the colossal cave hint line. If you need a game hint, press one. If you would like technical support, oh. If you're just getting started, press one. If you're in the forest, press two. If you're in a cave, <laughs> press three. Congratulations on making it into the cave. If it is too dark <laughs> to see or you keep falling into a pit, press 1. If you can't catch the bird, press 2. If the bird seems fearful of you and just flies around, press 3. If you're <laughs> in the cave, press 4. Oh my god. We are sorry. An application error has occurred. Goodbye. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Is that fictional or real? What the fuck? Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I think that's I'm, a real this application. This is actually, error. this is legitimately, this is what this was like as a kid. Yeah. And now imagine that you're you're spending $5 a minute for this. If you're just getting started, 
Press 1. If you're in the forest, congratulations on making it into the cave. Did I press the wrong if button? The, the phone tree is just another fucking cave. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to exhaustively map the phone tree. <laughs> so I press I four. Like we are sorry, an application error has occurred. Oh, fuck. It fuck. Feels yeah, like the, we're in a mine was only way through the forest. I don't believe this shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Um. All right, sweetie pie, move your little head. I, I mean, oh, that fucking sucks. I needed this hint. And let me tell you, that would have been like $9 of time. Yes. Yep. You managed to escape wit's end. Whoa. How far did you do that? Uh, I think it just figured out that we called the helpline. Yeah, I was like, did you call the inline? Or is it a waiting thing? Do you have to wait a certain number of seconds? You're in a passage. Oh, look, there are core, drilling core samples. I have no oh, idea. Oh god, are you going back in? Okay, I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. This is I don't know how. How? Did, how? Wow. What? Do you, Do you guys want to know how you escape Wit's End? Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, there are ten possible exits. Yeah. And. Every time it's randomly determined which exit is the right one. So you just have a 10% chance of getting out. <laughs> that really sucks. <laughs> that sucks so bad. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Roberta Williams was the original Hitotaka Miyazaki, man. Dark Souls has nothing on Roberta Williams, man. You're kidding me, fucking Roberta. Oh, Holy oh, shit, man. my hero. Oh my god, fuck yeah, that's it. That is that is some hardcore. Alright, uh Alright, we're gonna resume. So we just came up the bed quilt room. I'd say we go south. Um so You've I crawled made, around like in some I, little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Don't give up. I, Keep trying. I made this little game on a hypercard for many years that was just like a point and click. You've crawled around in some little holes thing. and wound up back in the main passage. And uh there was part that was just, you know, it was just a screen that said it was like, oh, like 700,000 miles to this town. And you can just click and keep clicking. And it was like you were going on this road that just went forever. Um, but then the gag was that if you turned around, you were like right where you started. But uh -huh. I did I did have a sheep that would show up and there was like a one in a hundred chance. And there's this sheep. And if you clicked on the sheep, it would kill you. <laughs> Which is pretty good. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, oh, look at you Delightful with your fungi are providing enchanting illumination. Brass lantern. You it is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will most Brass hey. <laughs> the lantern is now lit. You are in a room in which the walls resemble Swiss cheese. Obvious passages go west, east, south, northeast, and northwest. Part and of the cheese. room is occupied by a large bedrock block. Bedrock the block, so we can sleep on it. The block block lit up. Did this is this is so insane to me that all we're doing this is, is wandering so around. This is so good. Yeah. You have crawled around in some little holes and wound up back oh in the main God. passage. Uh, I don't like the little holes me mechanic. <laughs> that is that is r wrecking my immersion. No, dude, the the, the ten percent caves are my favorite kind of caves. Sean, I think you need to. I think you need to crawl into one of those. You have Swiss crawled around in some little holes there. and wound up back in the main passage. Is don't this where the up. dwarves spawn? Keep trying. Dude, the little dwarves are probably also just fucking lost as shit. Wait, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> so it's east. Entirely walking. Yeah, there's a walking is simulator. East, east, is east how we came in? No, Zizzy's how we left. Holy oh shit! shit. What the fuck? It's a party. Oh, 
Happy birthday! It's your birthday! Yeah. That light is quite entrancing and colorful. A small velvet pillow lies on the floor. One pill makes you smaller. These mushrooms are trippy to say the least. Oi. You're in a soft room. The walls are covered with heavy curtains, the floor with a thick shag carpet. Moss covers the ceiling. All right. Find it. See if you can find a Doors album. This is a mushroom room. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. It's so funny. It's just. <laughs> you found the chill out tent. You're at the east end of a two pit room. <clears throat> The floor here is littered with thin rock slabs, which make it easy to descend the pits. There is a path bypassing the pits to connect passages from the east and the west. There are holes all over, but there is a big one on the wall directly over the west pit, too high to reach. A big hole on the wall. There is a threatening dwarf. Oh my a sharp god! Knife oh, fuck. Is thrown. It one of these dwarf's days, axe. it's gonna just kill us. You have vanquished a little dwarf. Thwoof, thwoof. It was super innocent, but you don't care much, do you, you pervert? Uh, look at that undulating... What? What, what, what was that sound? There's a tiny little plant in the pit, murmuring, Water. Water. Bottle of water. <laughs> oh. Sounded like a cat. The plant spurts into furious growth for a few seconds. Ugh. Water. There is a 12-foot-tall beanstalk stretching up out water. of the pit, bellowing, Water! Water! water. Do you have to go water. get more water? Yeah, hey guys, water. guess what the plant's name is. Guess Walter? what the plant's name is. It is. Walter? is it Walter? A small Walter. pool yeah, of Walter. oil. Don't a feed it oil! A small pool of oil seeps out of the ground here. Oil! Oil! Water. So... Does, does is the plant going to be on our map so that when we find more water, we can bring it to it? Yeah. Yes. It's in the two-pit room. So there is a pit here. There's another pit. This we obviously water. need access when this is grown. Water. Hello. Hello, I want proper water. Water. Water, love. Cappuccino. I don't even know what to tell you about these caves. You're in a I large, know. low, circular chamber whose floor is an immense slab Ugh. fallen from the ceiling. There once were large passages Ugh. to the east and west, but they are now filled with boulders. Low, small passages go north and south, and the south one quickly bends west round the boulders. But the north one goes north to the south, and south forever north. North and south. <clears throat> Oh, I like my that ladder. God. That's a cool ladder. Nick, Nick, okay, dude. My brother is here. Everyone say hello to Nick. Um, Hi, okay. Nick. Nick. Hi, Nick. Nick. Hi. Remember how mom would always talk about adventure? This is the remake of Adventure from Roberta Williams and Ken. Hello. In that order. <laughs> I got to make mom play this game, man. Heck yeah. Yeah. Water. I gotta make. To I gotta new make, detour. I gotta call Cyan on the phone and say like, let's make whatever version of this is, but for Cosmic Cosmo. Dude, let's make the game up. that felt that Cosmic Cosmo the felt dragon like. Dragon looks rather nasty. What the fuck? You best not Whoa! Uh oh. Whoa! Uh oh. That's a dragon. Have you heard of these guys before? I, if you heard of these, they're called dragons. Uh, they're very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll fucking oh, get out of here. That's a good fucking dragon sounds. That's a crazy light. Some dude that's a cobbled that that's a crazy together. light. It's a crazy light. Wouldn't touch that. Completely bonkers. Get electrocuted. What about the handle? That. Can you touch the handle? Wouldn't touch that. You could get electrocuted. Okay, no. Hey Nick, by the way, are are you gonna go live in? A few minutes, because we're we're done streaming in like ten fifteen. 
So, dude, Lee, like... Yeah. Oh, shit, this is so cool. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's like the a mirror weird is obviously kind of... provided for the use of the dwarves, who, as you know, are extremely yeah. vain. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. The mirror is obviously that. provided for the use of the dwarves, who, as you, the mirror is obviously provided for the use of the dwarves, who, as you know, are extremely vain. Yeah, says, let me go li uh, live earlier. Let me take the fastest shower of all time. Yeah, man. If you're live, I'll raid you, dude. But, like, dude, Lee, to your comment about I need to make games to explore around, there was this, um... There's this indie designer from Sweden named Nicholas Nygren who mm. made Within a Deep Forest and this series called Knit. K-N-Y-T-T. -T. Oh, yeah. Knit. Oh, and, Knit. And, like... Heard of that. In one of the downloadables of Knit, you have a character that can just jump around a platform, and it's just an area to explore. There's no enemies or goals. You just wander around. And it was that's really so rad. nice. And like in this, that there's something that's so cool about wandering around, and then you like run into yeah. this. You're yeah, in a north-south canyon. Pretty wild. The floor is covered by a white mist seeping in from the north. <laughs> The walls extend upward for well over a hundred feet. Suspended from some unseen point far above you, an enormous two-sided mirror is hanging midway between the canyon walls. A small window can be seen in either wall. A further passage hails from the frozen north. It extends about 200 meters until it gets to a 42 degree angle for about another 100, forming an acute angle. Ah. Oh. Oh. Looks like coal. A rowboat is tied to a small dock. Be careful. You don't want to fall in here. That boat die. doesn't belong to you. I mean, that that didn't stop us with, like, the gold or the jewels. Or that the lives of doesn't the random belong creatures. To you. Do you know how many dwarves I've fucking killed today alone? See here. All right, near canyon. It says rickety. Bridge. I love that we're we're literally just like in a state park. <laughs> Dude, I will never go cave diving. That shit sounds fucking horrifying. Yeah, I know that. I, I, yeah, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> So One hundo. The rickety, crickety bridge. Higgledy, piggledy. Bridge here is that what this is? Rickety. There's a wiggity, wiggity, wiggity whack bridge. Oh shit! I see. Oh fuck! I, I, I can't believe you've done this. I apparently have done this. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Norfolk. So this is the other place I don't think we've explored. Was that wrong? You're not wrong. Wait, where what? You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Those little holes, man. They little holes. Oh my god. So, so think, yeah. Sean, you know what I was going to do tomorrow is I was going to go get an allergy shot and I was going to do my laundry, but you know what I just did? I put those off until the next day. Oh, oh dude. fuck yes. Nothing gives That's me as done. much of an eye as just not doing something I originally set out to do. Because I like, I like found another shirt, you know. Oh, dude, that is the dream. <laughs> That's great. Heck yeah, dude. And this is what it was like playing these games. You'd just be like NWWS, WWS, and you would just be where you needed to be. You'd be zooming. Yeah, the original Wazdy. Okay, so there's the dragon room. 
So this is where we climbed up the wall and we went like this, but we have no idea how happens if you climb up the wall and then go like this way, right? So if I get in here. So this this is the exit. But it says there's another passage here. <sighs> this is crazy. Oh. Was that animated? So yeah, it's a ladder. I could go this way or I could go the bridge way. Okay. So I just haven't gone... Oh, no, wait. That's to the dragon room, huh? How in... Secret tunnel. How in tarnation is this map? Oh, I see. This is the dragon room. The dragon room. Okay. All right. I have an idea. Oh, my God. You know what would be actually really, really... Sounds stupid, but would be really fun is if this was just like a mud. Like if there was more users just wandering around and if, you know, they had the <laughs> graphical style of the dwarves and they were just like all throwing knives just at each walking, other. Just walking. Just <laughs> walking. And just walking <laughs> through each other and just like clipping yeah. and just like running into a wall. That would be so good. Dude, Uru style. This is a lake. Empty bottle. <laughs> Uru. Your bottle is Ooh, now full. Ages beyond mist. All right. Yes. I'm still so proud of that of the uwu title screen that I made. Uwu. Oh man. Yeah, you I need mean, to be a little closer to climb it's that. It's kind of interesting how recently there's been this genre of vibe games, where like you don't do anything, you just wander around, and they just kind of like just hang out in the space, and it just like has a vibe to it. Yeah. And like. <laughs> Fuck. I feel like some of these games were a little ahead of their time, you know, like Yeah. You got a fucking sweet dungeon. Nowadays you just like wander around in and you just like tell people, yeah, meet me Water. over here. The plant grows explosively, almost filling the bottom oh. of the pit. Explosively. I also love screensaver games. There's nothing you know how to there were screensavers you could play as games? Which is such an interesting thing because it's like, Shit. you know, it's like, wow. Ugh. I mean, the plants are I screaming, didn't... step on me, step on my little thin leaves. <laughs> I like, I thought you were going to climb it like the trunk of a tree, not walk around the spiral staircase of its delicate petals. Yeah, that's that's pretty fucking. That is definitely some fey like behavior. Like, ee, ooh, I'm mischief. What? Giant. Uh oh. Oh, we went up a fucking beanstalk. We are gonna absolutely run into a giant. Oh oh. Oh fuck! We're gonna get jacked on the beanstalk. Um. You find yourself in a pantry. <laughs> Apparently for a very large person. You see a cavernous very room to the north. Hmm. Fee fi fo. You're in the oh. giant room. There we go. The ceiling is too high to see with your lamp. Cavernous passages lead east, north, and south. It would take a giant appetite yeah. to devour those large potatoes. Oh. Scared the shit Do out of me. We... This game is fucking terrifying. You Do find yourself in a ride? pantry. Apparently for a very large person. You see a cavernous room to the north. The passage here is blocked by a recent cave-in. The passage here is blocked by a recent cave-in. You're in the giant room. The ceiling is too high to see with your lamp. Cavernous passages lead east, Not north, true. and south. So many big potatoes. There's no use for that here. You're in the giant room. The smell <laughs> from that cauldron sickens you. Why <laughs> oh. foo? Oh, I had no idea it was simply foo. Okay, all right. Oh. All right, I'm I'm making my way over. Wait, can, do, oh, never mind. This is the scariest. Making my walk. way downtown. This is a terrifying door. 
The way north leads through a massive iron door. The door is extremely rusty and refuses to open. Okay, so I need to fill the um, thing with oil. Come back here. Oh, whole. That scares the, the shit out of me the... every time. That appears to it be a portrait like of a Jesus. giant. Give me is a great. I fucking album. love having a giant, a giant painted portrait of myself in my. You're in the in giant room. living room. Oh, oh yeah. shit! Golden eggs. Oh, there's some gold eggs. Two gold fucking eggs. points for that. Um. Also, I love adventure game design that is just stream of consciousness. Yeah. You know? I mean, so I guess the Straight point of up. this is is treasure. Like, we're trying to are we trying to get rich off of this? It's unclear. I think we're just going for points, which is kind of like that is treasure good vibes. to a gamer. Yeah. I think we're just trying to like do the kind of stuff you want to do in life, you know? Just kind of like having experiences. I feel like we came down smaller than we went up. <laughs> Your bottle is now full of oil. Ooh. Right, I'm going to hold shift so I can do the animation faster. Oh, you can do that? <laughs> Apparently so. Apparently yes. In the 360 no scope, that beanstalk. Dude, 360 stock scope. 300 stocky slow scope. No brokes. So I think I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna make a little adventure game in uh, live code, which is like the new hypercard, which is a lot Bottle like oil. PowerPoint. If PowerPoint the oil has freed up painful. the hinges so that the door will now open. Is so the way bad. north leads through a massive iron yeah. door. We're really missing the sort of what we what we could really use is like an application that comes installed on all computers that just lets you make point and click shit, which is what that is a dangerous world here. I mean, Watch it's also what Flash was. Oh yeah, that's true. But I mean, I, not quite. I mean, I but think, like, I think pretty close. Card was even easier, but yes, yes, no, Flash that's true. was. Flash was that. I mean, is there something no, like that these days? I don't the even game. know that there is. No, no. Uh, really. I think we just lost. Well, I how did we, we? How did we lose? What happened? We closed the game. Uh, I think it's like when you quit Doom, and it was like, "What's yeah. the matter, coward?" Nerd? <laughs> yeah, like. What's what, the matter, you nerd? Yeah, I I don't know what happened, but games used to just be comfortable shitting on the player. Like, my favorite is yeah. DDR, where if you start messing up, it would go, boo, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that uh, th this game thus far has been insane to me. Like, absolutely wild. Because, like, th there's just, it's, yeah. there are not a lot of games like this at all. I mean, the fact that we are wandering around in a cave. Faceless TV. Is Nick online yet? All right, we got to buy more time. It's fucking doomed. It's, 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 I'm loving the fact that, like, parts of it are just shitty. Like, the, like, God, how do I, how do I express the fact that I mean that, like, lovingly? It's like the way that the dwarves look and move, like, is when just you have bad, games like but it's Naughty so Dogs good. Uncharted series where everything. <laughs> He has yes. 8,000 corner case animations to just look as yes. fluid as humanly possible. And then you just have a dwarf that rotates simply by sliding and clipping through the objects around him. Like, yes. yeah. And then when it's time for the dwarf to go away, his asset is just unchecked. He's just gone. Yeah, yeah he's he just gone. You simply destroy object, that dwarf. But it's like so good and like I wouldn't have it any other way, you know? Well, but there's reminded. also oh, ahead, like the, Lee the way that you described it as like stream of consciousness game design I think is really interesting and and like I have experience with that and that is what it feels like and the the, uh, the fact that like there's a beanstalk that leads to a giant's 
the house with the golden <laughs> eggs, but it's all fucking underground because we're in a cave and like, yeah. why not? Like, maybe maybe there's a beanstalk and you climb up it into it. Like, that's not, that's. Yeah. <laughs> this is the game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the game. We, got so many we are getting here, we're deep into this is the game territory yeah i mean this is fucking unbelievable i mean yeah wow yeah you want to drink a some knife is water? Thrown. i do just i want. do fucking love a knife is thrown <laughs> I, and the fact that we the fact that we ended up in like a little like sort of hippie smoke den for a little bit yeah for no reason yeah General IT says bone this nut, reminds me bone of a blog nut. I used to read back in the early 2000s about exploring an endless dungeon of concrete and rusted metal. Yeah, straight <laughs> up. <laughs> wow. Bone Nut says this might be the most game that ever was, which I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And she's gone. There you go. And the moment yeah. is done. I mean, I, I, I'm just fascinated by this feeling of going to this dank cave and having, like, no clue. And she's back. And having, like, no clue even really what, like, your goal is in the game. You just begin to interact with it, and then points just fucking happen. <laughs> I mean, it's wild. That's really rad, too. I, I love that, actually. It's like, you have points. Points just fucking happen. It's like, well, how do I get points? Yeah. Is there a consistent way to get points? And it's like, no. Write everything down, because you'll want to do this multiple times. It's just wild. <sighs> Sweetheart, get off the menu. Yeah, I know you're hissing. You're mad, huh? You okay though? Is B you all right? Yeah, she's all right. Oh, she's biting. Me. She's not all right. Wow. I mean that. I will say, like, th this is the kind of gaming experience that is super rough around the edges. Yeah. You okay? She's not okay. She's mad. Here you go. Do you want scratches? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Everything's okay. She's fine. Yeah, but there's something that is Pyro just... skanks. Oh, yes. Are you hearing this, cat? No. Here, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's mad. She's mad because I like. Did I just did I disturb you? <laughs> Look, here's my oh. hand. She keeps rubbing against my hand, so I I trust that she wants scratches. Yeah. But I think sometimes when they rub against your hand, they really just need to get their stank on you with their little cheek stank. That's yeah. true. Yeah, we're we're rubbing, Purr. we're growling, we're purring, we're doing like all the cat motions. We're just gonna sit there, kind and of it. doing like skexy Yoda noises. Mm -hmm. I'm very confused mm -hmm. about the zizzy. Yeah, I I am wondering if it is like a one-time use thing because that is I, very maybe cool these games. Yeah. <laughs> I mean the the, I will say it's it's pretty sick. It's pretty very sick. tight. It is. I think you find an. Yeah. Go ahead, Lee. You 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 enter an incredibly tight passage. It is so tight. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one person you among them who actually fit into this passage because it's fucking so tight. Like you find this, this deeply sick passage. <laughs> I think that this is one of the best examples of a game that is like not for the modern gamer. But like for the historical cultured gamer, it's just like oh, oh, it's just hitting so much. The fact that it has X Y Z Z Y, and you feel a strange pulling sensation. I mean, that's fucked up. That's like fucking so sick. Yeah, that's so. Wow. It's somebody's gonna be like old yeah. for new or some shit. Dude, I can't even believe it. It's unbelievable. I can't. Somebody's believe gonna it. be like, damn, I took a mint. Holy shit! <laughs> you find a mint on a giant's table. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll just end there. Uh, do you two have any final thoughts before I see if my brother actually made it out of the shower in time? Oh, he did. He's live. No Thanks. thoughts. Utterly fascinating. Utterly fascinating game. Like, and I, I literally today just gave a lecture about how mazes suck, and uh, this is a fascinating counterpoint to you know all of the stuff that I was talking about because it's not about the maze as an obstacle it's the maze like as a journey it is about exploring yeah. the maze that's the whole game it's so good and i yeah, it's cannot cool. believe that they had a there, there's a phone number that you can fucking call that is advertised in the game 
And in the it game, doesn't there, work. Is, there is a TV in the game advertising the game. It's like it's like the Cheesecake Factory of, of game development. This is crazy. Like, this is unbelievable. Um, well, I guess with that, I guess I'll just say goodbye. Um, goodbye. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. I mean, we're going we're gonna to go raid my brother. My brother. Bye. Love you. Bye. Talk I love to you, you soon. so much. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is the Bye, right one. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>